welcome back to Ozarks Live. Sarah Beth Anna with Valley Hills Animal Rescue joins us now. And Sarah, who did you bring with you? I brought Brick with us. Brick. With me today. If you can tell why he's named Brick. Yeah, you're kind of, kind of shaped like yes, that, but I see yes. some tiger stripes on you Yes, too. he is a pit bull mix. Mm. Um, he was rescued from animal control after being there for about 50 days. Wow. And he is ready for his forever home. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. So tell us maybe some good characteristics of Brick or why people are really gonna love him. Brick is going to be such a great addition to your home. He is great with kids. Mm -hmm. He is great with dogs, cats. He loves car rides. He knows his commands. Mm -hmm. And he is just wanting to please and be part of your family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. People person and an animal person. Yes. <laughs> yeah, now yes. you have, um, you've adopted some animals, right? Yes. From the shelter. So yes. tell us about that. Okay, so we did, um, from Valley Hills Animal Rescue, we did adopt um, our Winston. And how we got to do that was he, we got to keep him in our home for two weeks mm -hmm. to see if he got a, uh, along with our three other dogs. And he got along great. Yeah. And so within a few days, I knew that he was gonna be part of Absolutely. our Absolutely, which our I think family. the trial piece of it all is really, really vital. Yes. Um, because you get to decide if they really are a good fit or if you can handle it also, because you wanna make sure you're giving yeah. the dog a good home as exactly. well, right? Exactly. Um, so remind people um, also the volunteering opportunities available over at Valley Hills. So Valley Hills, we have a special opportunity right now that we are going to start having people come out and help play with the dogs, mm. clean kennels. Um, Fostering opportunities are still always, we need fosters um, for some of the dogs that we still have that haven't found their homes yet. Okay. Um, and then of course, um, at adoption events, we can always use people to come and just sit with a dog and mm -hmm. be that dog's caretaker yeah, for absolutely. the day. Let's expand on fostering for a second. So what does that look like for people who might be interested but don't fully know yeah, what that entails? What kind of a commitment is that? Okay, so fostering is just basically bringing the dog into your home and Valley Hills is gonna provide the kennels, the mm. food. They're already vetted. So they've already had all their vaccinations. They are spayed or neutered. And then also they're gonna be microchipped already. Okay. So when you foster a dog, you don't have to really worry about anything yeah. except for bringing them into your home, loving them as one of your own, yeah. and just helping be that support to find their mm -hmm. perfect forever home. Which I yeah. love because yeah. Valley Hills basically takes care of the brunt work for you. You yeah. just have to take care of the Makes loving so part. Yes. 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 Now also, what kind of donation or supplies are needed right now over at Valley Hills? Um, of course, monetary is always good, but uh, we can use blankets, we can use food, toys, leashes, mm -hmm. any kind of you know, thing that you can think of that might help like dogs, mm -hmm. cats, mm -hmm. things like that. Okay. Now, if you did, if you were interested in either fostering or adopting, is there paperwork that you have to fill out and, yes. you know? Yes, so um, just for instance, like with Brick, mm -hmm. um, he's actually kind of a special dog right now because okay. Pet Finder, where you will find the Valley Hills Animal Rescue site at, has actually paid a portion of his adoption fee. Oh. So his adoption fee is only $75. Wow. So that is huge. Um, and then also All About Cats and Dogs are actually having a program called Share the Love. And so if you see Brick as someone that needs to be part of your home, mm -hmm. you're actually going to be getting a huge, like a, a goodie bag with like $100 worth of stuff oh, for wow. him. Wow, okay. What a blessing. Yeah, yes. so lots of good deals yeah. out there. Yes. Sarah Beth, if people want more information, how can they get that? All right, so you can go to um, email for an application if you do want to see about Brick as an addition to your home. You can go to valleyhillsanimalrescue at gmail.com. Perfect. You can also check out our website at valleyhillsanimalrescue.com. And for the instance of Brick, since he is a pit bull mix, I know Springfield, you would need to see about getting a permit for okay. him. You okay. would just contact Animal Control. Mm -hmm. um, you would have all the information because he's okay. ready to go. Yes. So right. um, I know some other cities and towns around, they do just because of his breed. Yeah, sure. right. But he is seriously, he would be okay. such a great addition. It sounds to like it, home. yes. He's Thank so you calm. so much yes. for bringing us. You're so welcome. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. it. Good to see you. <laughs>